Welcome back, friends, with the season three premiere of Part Stopper. This show is always such a nice breath of fresh air. I remember last time when we left off, Charlie had typed I love you to Nick but hadn't sent it, but I was happy enough knowing he felt it. This show also delves into some real issues in ways that I really appreciate, so looking forward to watch that play out as well. I know all the episodes have dropped at once, but I'm going to do them once per week and take my time because I want to be able to savor every last bit of it and also to avoid burning out from overworking as well. Excited to check in on all our kids, though. P.O. Box address is in the description, full reactions on Patreon, leave a like and let's get started. We're starting in Tori's room? Aww. I love you. Aww. I'm in love with you. And you don't have to say it back yet. I mean, but... Aww. You do. Overheard. I feel the same way too, eventually. Stop spying on me. Stop declaring your love so loudly then. <laughs> I'm shocked you haven't said it already. Probably too soon anyway. Uh. You don't think he feels the same? He's literally obsessed with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to the beach today, and then he's on holiday for three weeks, so... Huh. So tell him today. No. Yes! Aww. <laughs> it's coming out of his brain. Never seen you in a vest before. <laughs> well... I've never seen you in a cat before. <laughs> Stop being so cute! Yeah. I'm gonna cook us a candle at dinner. <laughs> you are! With what cooking skills? With the power of romance! <laughs> <laughs> He's so much. And I win again! Tara! Can't you let me win one time? No! I'm faster! Head up! Do it! Stop me! <laughs> <laughs> So many books. Well, I did tell you Yo. to bring all of that. I'm bringing the fun. <laughs> Charlie, you know my back, please. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fireworks static. Does Nick want to say it? He's in his own little world now. I love you. Oh. Oh no. Well. Oh no. Thank you. Um, I think it's too early for me to say that. <sighs> Do you have someone? Oh, no, I don't really burn, I just tan. You just tan? That's still sun damage. You got a little bit of, um, just oh, that's all disgusting. over, actually. You Stop just, it. everyone that's needs disgusting. sunscreen. Yeah. Nick! Stop kissing your boyfriend and hurry up! <laughs> all right! <laughs> <laughs> These two are so cute, too. It's for my girlfriend. She's over there. <laughs> Official girlfriend. We've only been dating for like three weeks, but it's been a okay, Tao. It's been a whirlwind. Da, 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 da. What is going? <laughs> Tao. See, I got one too, so we're matching. Look, E for L. This is the sappiest thing you've ever okay, done. Okay, your turn. Your turn. Okay, close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> you got me flowers when you first asked me out, so. We're so ridiculous. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> I want the most romantic summer ever with you before you go to Lambert. I support that idea. Aww. What are we playing? I'm so happy the show's back. Okay. okay. Mm, Nick versus the girls. Yeah, we're on Nick's team. Come on, Darcy, girls, stick together. Okay. Wait, four against yeah. one? Oh, we're gonna win yeah, anyway. Let's do it. Sorry, you start. Yeah? <laughs> I just launched it. Is there no out of bounds? I want to tell Nick that I love him. <laughs> Charlie, you're already dating him. Yeah, I know, but... You know I get stressed out of this stuff. Oh yes, I am very aware. <laughs> well, why don't you just sit here staring at him all day instead then? I'm not, I'm not staring. <laughs> oh, Isaac. Have you seen him shirtless in the changing rooms? I don't really get the appeal. You've never seen someone really attractive and just felt like... butterflies. You think I'm immune? <laughs> Do you think you're asexual then? Probably aromantic? Too? You could tell the others, Isaac. I just can't be bothered to give everyone a vocab lesson. <laughs> oh. I love you. Oh, I love you too. If you can say that to me, you can definitely say it to Nick. That is totally different. Totally you. different. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. Fish and chips. <laughs> You're giving away your fries? Stop chips? The chips. <laughs> oh. Nick's noticing. Hello. Now the fog went away. 
No, oh, everyone's already done. Oh, Tao, you're probably not going to see her for five whole minutes. Oh, <laughs> okay. Cancelling plans with us to go on dates with her, apparently. Oh. Oh. The honeymoon period won't last forever. It, it might. Yeah. How's life living with your girlfriend? She's been chatting to her grand a bit on the phone and she wants Darcy to live with her. Not that I want Darcy to move out or anything, it's just been a bit, you know. A bit. I feel bad. It's a big step that you were forced into. Okay, if it's a lot. Anyway, there's that and starting sixth form and thinking about uni options and it's all just... A lot? Yeah. Am I the only one who's stressed about starting sixth form? <laughs> Guess I've just been distracted by... Yeah, that makes sense. Other things. That he can't talk about. It's hard to know how to talk to him about it without making things worse. <sighs> You're doing your best. Want to come? Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, submerged. <laughs> He's so concerned about Charlie that he doesn't. His, it's not even on his mind to say I love you. Okay, He's showing it in so many ways, though. What? No, 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 no. No. Where should I put those? 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 I know you don't want me to try and fix you or anything. I just care about you so much. I can see how much worse. Hear that much. Hear that. I don't think I do. I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. Uh, Is that what you wanted to talk about as well? No. Yeah. No. He didn't. He just says he doesn't ha feel like he has it. So of course it's not what he wanted to talk about. I think David's stolen my goggles. I can't believe you're leaving me for three whole weeks. <laughs> That's such a long you time. An orca and a... Oh, are you gonna miss me? Mm, Not a bit. Maybe a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> it's very, very rude. <laughs> How rude? You know I'm gonna miss you a lot. I've got sand everywhere. <laughs> Movie after? Only if it's not Marvel. Ah, yes. Forgot you have no taste. <laughs> hey. <sighs> maybe you should try living with your grand. You might have more space if you lived with her. Aww. I don't need more space. I love you. So, so, so much. And I love being near you. I think we need some personal space too. I need some personal space. If you really don't want to, then, then it's fine. But she seems nice and it's okay. I'll try it. <sighs> I'll get more time in the shower as soon as you spend like an hour in the morning. I do not. <laughs> that was clearly like just very devastating for her, but she just. I love you too. <laughs> that oh, was really are sweet. You sure, you don't need any help. No, I can do it. <laughs> you sure? Dinner for my girlfriend. Uh huh. Thank you, mom. Please don't burn down my house. <laughs> <laughs> just don't burn down my house. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> bad, real bad. Okay, we can just order pizza. No, uh, I want everything to be perfect this summer. It doesn't have to. Everything's going to gonna change when you go to Lambert. We've only got three weeks left together, and you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't want to lose you. How? You're not going to lose her. Just calm down for a second. <laughs> He's so... Yeah. Oh. Nothing's going to change. You don't have to be constantly trying to impress me. I'm not going to dump you because you're a terrible girl. I wouldn't say terrible. Yeah. Not my strongest skill. <laughs> Can you let me sort out our romantic candle at dinner? Good night, eyes. They're very doggy. <laughs> uh. My mum said I have to go home. Give me two minutes, I can walk you home. No, no, it's fine. I just. You're gonna tell him through a door? 
You know when we were in the sea? Yeah. He thinks this conversation's going elsewhere. I was actually going to say that... Out with it. I love you. Oh, boy. Anyway, I, I, I can walk myself home. Bye. Oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait! Nick! <laughs> oh, this... Oh, God. <sighs> Idiot. Not for saying it, for, for saying it when he, you could just, oh my god. Shoes, no shoes. Oh god, don't step on anything bad. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> Johnny! Oh. Hi. <laughs> Freaking Charlie. All right, can you say what you said again, please? I love you. I wanted to tell you because you're going away and I won't see you for a few weeks. I love you too. There we go. Of course he does. I love you so much. <laughs> Come here, you idiot. <laughs> You're still damp. That's yeah, your yeah. fault. You're the one who said I love you for the first time when I was in the shower. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> why are we like this? Because you Charlie. Wouldn't change it for the world. Movie stars and black and white pictures. You're not even wearing a shirt. Oh, I thought you liked the shoes. It. The shoes. You peeping at me on the beach. I was not peeping. It's okay. It's it's allowed. <laughs> We're in love. Oh, oh, my oh, oh my god. You're gonna walk to my house with no shoes on. <laughs> yeah, that's how in love I am. They're gonna be insufferable with this in love stuff. I'm here for it. <laughs> That was beautiful, and I'm glad we got a bit of a happy ending to this episode. This show always brings the wholesomeness back around, and... Oh, Charlie is so silly, telling Nick he loves him for the first time while he's in the shower, giving him no time at all to process. Plus, Nick's mind was still focusing on the eating disorder that Charlie is in denial about. It's been a while since the last season, and I guess I forgot, because I thought they had already recognized that he had an eating disorder when he fainted last season. But yeah, other than that, there was a lot of wholesome, wholesome content in this episode. We actually opened on Tori. I always wanted a sibling when I was younger. I asked my mom for an older brother when I was four. I think I've mentioned that before. I think I would have been happy with any type of sibling, though. At the same time, I know siblings that don't get along, who aren't supportive of each other despite like parental abuse, and it makes them feel even lonelier than if they were just an only child. But then we see this wonderful brother-sister relationship between Charlie and Tori, with her egging him on, being supportive, and telling Nick that he loves him. I thought that was really, really sweet. And then Charlie just felt that love so strongly that it keeps wanting to spill out of him. We do see the darker side of that though, the anxiety, and of course the disordered eating, but we know that they'll have each other's back through everything, and that's some smallest solace for now. And really like that moment in Nick's room when Charlie's just looking at all the photos and he's reminded of all these lovely, lovely moments. And of course, the frickin' shower scene. Why are they like this? Also, Nelly just staring happily at both of them was too adorable. And Nick is just so much with a lovey-dovey talk afterward, it was really amusing. And then Isaac was talking about being Arrow Ace, good for him with taking his time telling his friends at his own pace, and not telling all of them because he doesn't want to do a vocabulary lesson for everybody is so real. I must have mentioned the Jaden Animations Arrow Ace video last season, right? If not, I would suggest it just because it's a good anecdotal account of what it means, and yet glad Charlie was supportive and kind to Isaac and looked up what Arrow Romantic meant later on by himself. And then Tao was trying to make this summer so perfect so that Elle won't forget about him when she goes to art school, and... Like, it's sweet, but it also comes from a place of insecurity. I'm sure I've mentioned before that just everybody needs to go to therapy, but he's working himself up into knots when Elle just wants them to have a good time together. She doesn't need him to be the best boyfriend ever. She liked him so much as he normally is. I also really, really loved Tao's mom's delivery when she told him not to burn the house down. That was just really, really funny to me. And I think the most emotional part of the episode is actually with Tara and Darcy. They're very happy together, but Tara also feels like she needs her own personal space. She She's been very understanding, but also sees this grandmother of Darcy as someone who is LGBTQ friendly, and it would be a space, safe space for Darcy. And then Darcy, you can tell by the look on her face that she's just absolutely devastated because this has been the happiest home life she's had maybe in ever. But she's mature enough to understand like, hey, I wasn't an unwelcome guest, but my parents being shitty basically forced my girlfriend to house me and share her space with me. And they're just teenagers. Like, I never had my own room growing up, and it can be difficult at times to figure out who you are on your own when you always have someone looming over your shoulder. And you also don't get to make your own space how you like it. 
And so these are some of the most formative years of their lives, and it's okay that Tara needs her space to figure out who she is. For Darcy, living with Tara was more freedom than she's ever had, so she's thrilled about that, but she also understands Tara's position, and even if she doesn't fully understand, she's at least trying to not take it personally and realize that it's not about her. And so, yeah, really, really big fan of that storyline. And yeah, this entire friend group is just so well written. Like, Charlie and Nick are front and center on all of the promotional material, but honestly, these two other couples and Isaac are all so good. Any of them could carry an entire episode. And I know our characters will likely have more difficult moments throughout the rest of the season, but it's always nice to be welcomed back with just comfort, food, and love. Really beautiful first episode. But yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. Subscribe so you don't miss more when I drop another episode sometime next week. I'll probably do it Wednesdays just to avoid Vox Machina and putting too many videos up at the same time, but we'll likely be one episode ahead on Patreon. Uh, I'm also bringing the Owl House to YouTube starting next week, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.